Hey hello friends I am Shubham and in this video I am going to show you the top 10 root apps for any android device so let's start the video Almost 60% android users are rooted their device but why are you rooted your device for just install the rom and uninstall the system apps then you are not taking the advantage of root here are the 10 apps for you Our first app is Adaway. Adaway app is used to avoid the ads. Whenever you are suffering on internet or using any application, you are facing a lot of ads. For blocking these ads, we are using the Adaway app. For using this app, you just enable the internet, download files for ad blocking. So it will download all the files which are required for blocking the ads, and it will block the ads from the applications. Yeah, now it's done. Applying successfully. For blocking the ads, this app modifies the host files of your device. While you are browsing on internet, that time application allows you to choose the host files from your device. So this is the great option. If you want to disable the ad block, just click on the disable ad blocking. It will disable the ad blocking. The second app is Titan and Backup Pro. This is one of the great application for taking the backup of your applications. This app is useful when you want to factory set your device. For taking the backup, just click on this right sign and uh, click on here backup all user apps plus system data. Here are all these apps which you can able to take the backup. Suppose if I want to take the backup of Adaway, then I will untick all other applications and only take the Adaway and just click on this right app right sign. Then it will take the all of the backup app Adaway app. Now the question rises in your mind is how I restore that backup? For restore the backup, just click on restore all apps with the data, and run it. By just clicking on that right green click, your backup is restored. Here are some another options. You can freeze the app, Android Market, manipulating data, uninstalling the app, deleting the backups. This is the Titan backup. The third app is the Substratum. This app gives the great look to your device. The Substratum engine application is used to manage the Substratum themes. I downloaded one theme. The name of that theme is Valerie. This is the theme. So you can download the themes from the Play Store by searching the Substratum theme. And for applying it, just go to the Substratum app, choose our Android version, enable it, and just click on the Build and Enable. So it will start to apply the theme. It will take some time, so I will skip the video. It will start to apply the overlay on almost all applications. Now it's almost done. So it will automatically apply the themes by just uh, switching off your screen and on. Now our theme is applied successfully. As you can see here, it looks cool. And I also will show you the setting app. The setting app is also changed. You can apply any Substratum theme by just downloading the Substratum themes from the Play Store. As I already told you, it will change the UI of some of the applications. So I will uh, take the example of a phone app. So this is the Substratum app. The fourth app is a Spectrum. This app is a profile-oriented kernel manager that allows developers to create profiles. This is useful for users who are inexperienced with the kernel tweaking or users who want something that's a single click away. For adding the Spectrum support in your ROM, you need to flash one zip from TWRP. First, click on Install button, select Spectrum Injector version one zip, and flash it. I will provide all those links is in the description. You can check it out from there. After flashing this, just click on the reboot system. Now, as you can see here, we are getting the four profiles: balance, performance, battery, gaming. As per your users, you can set one of these profiles. The balance is the default profile which can able to handle the basic tasks. By using the second profile, performance, you can get the better performance, but it manages the battery by limiting the graphics. When you are in critical section and you want a battery, that time set a battery profile that will gives you good battery backup. The last is very interesting gaming when you are playing the game it will give you 10 extra fps for playing the game so this is a subset of the fifth app is rom toolbox lite 
If you have a good money on Play Store, then you can download the pro version of this app, which will give you the full features of this app. This is one of the best app for doing some changes in your system. This app gives you the root browser. By using that, you can access any root level file. As you can see here, these all are system level files. You can modify them, you can change them, you can do anything with them. But if you're doing wrong with them, then it will give you the proper brick. Also, by using this app, you can write the scripts. These are some of the scripts: power off, reboot, reboot, recovery, and also you can um, able to make a new script. This is a terminal eliminator. By typing just ac, you can able to grant the permission of a root level. You can run any command with this terminal eliminator. Also, you can able to run the GitHub commands on this, but you need to add the GitHub repositories into it. This app will provide a lot of features. You can check when you installing this app. Also, you can control the CPU. You can add the kernel tweaks into it. Here are some of the tweaks. You can also able to edit them. But better to don't change them. If you know very well, then you can change it. Here are the build properties. You can also edit it. This app will also provide you the task manager, SD booster. So this is the overall ROM to box like. The sixth app is a flash file. As everyone knows, this app is used to flash the boot.img and record.img files, and also you can able to flash the zip files. By using this app, you can able to uh, backup your current kernel and recovery file. Suppose you are ported or compiled a tbwrp recovery for your device, and after flashing the tbwrp recovery, your get device is getting breaked. That times you can use the flash file app for uh, flashing the tbwrp recovery. By just clicking on this loop, you can flash it. Even here is an option for choosing or downloading the gaps for your device. So this is the overall flash file app. The seventh app is Greenify. Let's open the app. Just next, my device is rooted. You can use it without root also. Now grant the permission for root. The grant is root access. Just click next, grant permission. Allow the permission. Just click on finish. So, what is the use of Greenify, right? Greenify is an Android app that can improve your device battery life and performance by hibernating some of the apps. Let me show you. The Substratum map is running in background. So, just uh, click on Substratum map and click on this icon. So, it will start to uh, hibernate this app. Now, this app will, will uh, stop the running in background and it will increase your battery and performance of your device. This app is also comes with some other features. So this is the overall mini app. The Ed tab is very famous and everyone knows Lucky Patcher. Now what Lucky Patcher does? The Lucky Patcher app is an Android tool to change permission on your Android apps, block ads, get free in app purchase from Android apps and gifts. Here are some of the features. You can able to remove Google ads. Remove license verifications, support patch for in-app and nail veil modifications, create a modified APK file, you can create a clone, remove the selected sort of purchase, here are uh, all other options. You can change them as per your need. I'm not giving you guarantee that it will work on almost all apps, but it will work on some of the apps. I will try it on uh, some of the games. Here are some of the settings. So this is the overall Lucky Picture app. The ninth app is Dolby Atmos. As its name suggests, it will give you the loud sound like Dolby. Let me show you the difference between the original sound and Dolby sound. This is the original sound of my device. Now let's check the sound with the Dolby audio.
this is the difference between two sounds if you want to download the dolby atmos for your device so just search the search on the google your name with the dolby keyboard this is the full overview of the dolby atmos app the last and best app is the dual boot patcher the dual boot patcher app is used to run more than two android os on one device now you might be confusing is it possible to run the more than two android os on one device yeah it's possible let me show you now i am using the dot os version 7.1.2 on my device and i am dual booting this rom with miui 9 marshmallow for using any another rom just click on that rom and uh, reboot your device after I rebooting the system, this ROM is opened. As I already told you, this is the MIU9 ROM which is working on 6.0 Marshmallow. So yeah, it's possible to run the and more than 200 OS on one device. But it will take the internal storage of your device to store the ROM. If you want to switch the ROM, then just click on that ROM and reboot your device. This app will make easy to switch between two ROMs. If you want to know how to deal with the ROM, so the video is in the description, you can check it out from there. This is the memory acquired by our ROMs. If you want to remove any OS, then just click on that OS, click on wipe ROM and select all those partition by it. This is the deal with patch. You guys consider this app is a bonus app. One of the my favorite explorer is the EMI Explorer. Now open the root, just grant the root permission. Ok now it grants. This is the root level access for your system. If you want to change anything you can change it here. You can able to change the build or prop of your device. Suppose if I want to change the model number of my device then I can change it from here. And also I am able to change the android version. If you want to change the default boot animation then go to the media and change the boot animation.zip with the one which you want. If you want to delete any app then you can check it out from app or a private app. These are the two folders where the system apps are stored. So suppose uh, if I want to delete the radio then I can just select the FM radio folder and delete it. And by rebooting the system, it, uh, the app will delete it. These are the 10 root apps which might be helpful for you. So thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, do like, share, subscribe.